Hi, so to extract models from League of Legends, you need two programs, Wixie and Obsidian. If you want to view these models, you'll need a 3D model viewer such as Maya or Blender. So just before you start this, if you get a pop-up saying Wixie or Obsidian is dangerous, don't worry, um, both programs are safe. So first you'll need to find the .wed files on the champion you're looking for. So open up Obsidian. Go to file, open, then go to your League of Legends folder. I'll use PVE. Um, and then type in the champion you want. So let's go with Z.wad. Here's your file. Open it. Wait for it to load up. And then go to file, export all, and then go save it somewhere. So Z. Okay. Right. Now you can close Obsidian and open up Wixie. So to start uh, to set it up, just untick this box and start Wixie. Click on the Creation Studio tab, Model Viewer Converter. Click on Browse to find your models. Um, saved in here. So go into Assets, Characters. Uh, for me, it's Z. Uh, go to Skins and find a skin you want. Well, you just have to think of what order it's in. You can open this one up. Just make sure it's a .skn file. Open it. You can assign the materials if you want to just view it in this model viewer, but it's a waste of time if you're using it. Oh, if you're going to open it up in Maya. So click on view. And here we have Galaxy Slayer Zed's very complicated model. Click on export. Choose a path. Save it as a letter or an actual name if you want, uh, and then save it as an OBJ file, and save. You can close Wixie now, and open up Maya. If you're using Maya, that is, um, you can click on Use Flat Lighting, and Shading, set it to Hardware Texturing. You can also turn off this grid, because you're not going to need it, because when they do come in, it's really big. So go into the file you had, go to assets, characters, Z, skins, and you'll have your file name followed by a bunch of letters or numbers. So I have Windows 10, so I don't know where that's from, but it has a model viewer that you can use if you want, but I'm not going to use that. So you can drag them into Maya if you'd like, or if you want, you can go to file, import, and just find those models as well. So yeah, that these are massive compared to the little grid you get. So I just select all of them and right click and then hold it all the way down to assign new material. Go to Lambert. <coughs> click on this checkered box over here. Go to file. Click on the file icon and then find the texture map which is a DDS file in the same file. Click open and you'll get this. Oh, well, if you've chosen every single model, you'll get this. Um, you can fix up the textures and all that stuff. Um, Zed's model is a lot <laughs> uh, just because he has a lot of different animations. I just chose this skin because it's very complicated in case anybody wanted to try it out. Yeah, so there's little bits on him. So that's the actual model there. That's his recall here. It's a bit more stuff from his like interactions and jokes. So for me, I just want Z. I don't even want his face in it. You can just delete that. <laughs> um, so if you want to isolate it, you can drag over it, go Shift I, and if you click off, and then shift I again, you can show everything again, but I don't really want to do that. I'll just delete everything that I don't really need. I think there's another model underneath here. Yep, there's Zed's bod. You can select it by selecting the outer layer, holding shift, and then dragging over. It'll deselect what you've already selected, and then select what's underneath. You can delete that. I've accidentally <laughs> selected this. 
uh, which is a good point, I can hold control and then drag over it to deselect it. And now I can delete what's underneath. So now altogether, I have the Galaxy uh, Slayer Z model. Um, so he comes in bits because of how he's animated and how he's viewed and all that stuff. Um, so if you want to just have him solid, oh, as in one model, you can select all of him, go to mesh, combine, and you can just select anywhere now and you can drag the whole of him. Uh, if there's like pieces, if you want to like make it so it's separate pieces again, you can go to separate instead and now he'll be in separate little pieces that you can remove by yourself. So for example, if I wanted to like screenshot the back of his back, but these are in the way, I can just delete them and it'll show his back now. You can just press undo a bunch of times and it'll come back. Okay, so to do orthographic views, so it's like face on, you can hold space and it'll come up with this menu and then click in the middle and hold it. And you have to drag over one of these options here can go front view and it'll show something like this you can just click on him okay well I need to rebind him just click anywhere and then press F it should full screen him if not you can just zoom in and out using your um, scroller wheel on your mouse if you want a full screen so that you don't have any of this here you can hit control and space <coughs> and yeah, you'll just have him full screen. Now you can take a screenshot and then post it in here or in some sort of editing program, paste it, and there he is. Um, to do the other views as well, like the orthographic views I have or just the perspective views I have, that's kind of like a side on from the back and the front for perspective. Um, you just have to kind of eyeball it and screenshot it that way. So yeah, that's how you do the model things. If you want to know how to do the sheets, the easiest way to clean up a model here for people that use Paint Tool Sire, I think you can apply it to Photoshop as well. Um, so you lasso all the bits that you don't want in a screenshot. Oh, by the way, you need to flip the model or whatever you've copy pasted because all the models come in flipped. So this, if you're cosplaying Zed or something, this is the way you'd see him. Like his skirt would be on his right side, not his left side. Um, so you just select all the bits that you don't want. And then for me, I put it on a new layer and then fill it in and then hide it. Um, so I can select that layer again and then erase the background through color difference and delete. So I have a little transparent set now that's mostly transparent. It doesn't really get a lot of de uh, get rid of a lot of detail. It's like it gets rid of like tiny edges, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, then you just make your model reference from that. So yeah, uh, hope this was clear enough. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you. I forgot to mention that sometimes your models are going to look like this once you texture them. Uh, that's just because there's like some transparency in the model that you've used. So to get rid of it, you go to your texture that you've created in the attribute panel and you break the connection with the color and transparency so that it's clear again. Um, and you have to make a different file for your um, texture. So the texture that you used before was a DDS file, so it was like a .dds file. You need to convert this file into a .psd or Photoshop file. Um, you can do this using Photoshop or you can go online and use a converter. Um, so I've done that off screen. So here I have the same texture but it's PSD. It won't have a preview but when you open it there is Kane with his solid stuff. Um, sometimes champions like Aurelian Soul are going to look a little washed out just because his tail and like his legs are supposed to be transparent. But I, d I don't know how to fix that really. Maybe there's a fix, but it's 
that there probably there probably is, but I, I, I don't know it. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Thank you.